certain sense of power of pressing a button on your joypad and seeing a plane crash land. It's, it's really cool the player actually trigger it all themselves. The power plays are these big animation moments with a lot of physics interaction. The way the player gets to remotely trigger these power plays is by overtaking other cars, drifting, jumping, all kinds of stuff like that. It earns you power, and when you've earned enough power, you can trigger them remotely. It's a way for you to control the track, create shortcuts, and take out your opponents. So if the car in front of you has an icon above them, that signifies they're being targeted in a power play zone. And if you press your power play button then, something in the environment will get triggered. Some of them up to 1.8 kilometres in length of animation that we need to do. Synchronised with that, we need all the audio and the VFX and the changes in the post-processing of the game to give that, that emotional experience. You've got things like, you know, cars that actually have explosives primed underneath them and get blown across the track, gas stations that can blow up, monorail trains that you can derail with explosions, all the way up to bringing down giant structures like control towers. The whole screen can become absolutely full of explosions and smoke and dust and wreckage. As the player drives up to the power play, you kind of want that player to kind of flinch, getting that emotion from the screen. So we spend a lot of time and effort choreographing the power plays and all the effects. The environments are really rigged to blow. It's not just one big explosion, there's lots of little things. The guys are really working on a system where if you actually slowed the game down, you'd kind of see a story of all the effects. You never know exactly how a lap or a race is going to play out, so sometimes you might not have enough power to trigger some power plays you want in the environment, or sometimes your opponent might trigger it before you get there. So it really does mean that every race and every lap is very different. You can never completely predict what's going to happen when. 